Oh, here's a girl. Oops, I'm gonna stay clear of the pack ice. Rubbed up against some ice. Hey, Opal, what do you think? Do you like riding in the boat? <laughs> it was so nice to sit around our first campfire. Now we'll head back to shore, pick up the truck, and make our way back to the fishing lodge. It looks like the ice is just about gone tonight, so we expect smooth sailing. Wow. There's like no sound. There's no noise pollution, no light pollution. Hey, honey. You can hear heartbeats and whispers. It's my doggy, my doggy has two floppy ears. My doggy, my doggy is not quite two years. My doggy, my doggy likes to run, jump, and play. I love my doggy dog more every day. All right, pup. It kind of looks like we're laying on the forest floor and looking up at the sky there. I know. It is just absolutely still. I've never seen water like this. No, me neither. Not a breath of wind. And that ice is almost gone from earlier in the day. Yeah. I'm breaking through it again though. Yeah, I don't think we'll have to tomorrow. Maybe in the morning, but not in the afternoon. The thing is, it freezes every night. That's the problem. I think we came at the right time though. I mean, as soon as we possibly could. Yeah, we couldn't have come a day earlier, I don't no. think. Wow. Is it too thick now? Is it too thick? Welcome to the HMS Opal Icebreaker. Okay. Okay. Try not to break any ice until uh Hang on honey. Let me ram it first. Oh, this is not good. Totally like an Arctic icebreaker. Oh, yuck. It seems we lost our recording right about here. While it took us a long time to plow through the ice, we did manage to get it back to shore without damaging the boat. No matter how excited we are to get out onto the lake, we found it's best to just let the ice melt before taking the boat out. Lesson learned. <laughs> A little black fox. Oh, you're an actual wild fox. That's unreal. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, my little sweetheart, eh? 
Yeah. You. Hello. Oh, aren't you cute? Yes, you are. Look at you. Are you ever a little sweetie? Hi. <laughs> you got such a pretty tail. Yeah, you're right by my boot. Look how close you are to me. You're right by my boot. Oh, you're just a sweet little, sweet little foxy. Melody spotted a loop. She's in her element now. Is that right, honey? You have a hundred times zoom on your phone. Do you know that? Hundred times, I can't get over that. But I, but I've how, got how like do I make six or something like that. There's the loon. Where, where, where? I see. Oh no. Where is it? Do you see it? Hell yeah. Can you see it in my camera? Yeah, I can do it for you. Hang on. Oh, he's fishing. There's your loon, honey. Your first loon. How do you feel about that? I'm so excited. I was waiting for that. I could hear it last night. Did you hear it? Not the full loon cry, no. <laughs> I heard uh, one, it was like, and then it went up really high at the end. So I think that was the full loon cry. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that something? The wind is just blowing this ice. It's just piling up on the wharf here. It's all just kind of slush. Can't get over how powerful the wind is. A lot better situation today than yesterday. We won't have to be pounding through the ice, which is fantastic. After a good night's sleep, we're loading the boat to go back to the island. We have some exploring to do. And There's still a bit of ice that's going that way. I think we're we'll going to be able to get out really easily today. Just head out that way. So here we go. Still a little bit of ice out there. The thing of it is, is that the ice actually moves, and then if you go in somewhere and it's moved, you're kind of locked in. Like what happened to me. Yeah, like what happened to us last night, where I was hanging over the front of the boat, chopping the ice. It was quite an experience. This is very slushy, I think. Isn't it? Just slush. We've just come aboard the island at a different spot. Tying ourselves in. And because of all the willows, it's tough to get on the island at the moment. But um, we're going to secure the boat here. And then we're going to actually go into the woods and take a look and see what's there. What are these little things? I have to find out what those are. Must be something. Wow. Look at all the deadfall. Lots of trees because of the beetle infestation, hey? So it'll take a while to get stuff up and running. We'll have firewood for a bit. Oh, till the end of time. Oh, see if we can find a trail. Yeah. 
Today is all about exploring to see what we have here. It doesn't take us long to realize that we have shoulder to shoulder trees and lots of deadfall on our island. But that's okay, it's not a problem. We have so much more scouting to do. We've really only just begun. Sun's breaking through. What's that? What's what? That tree root there looks funny what is that it's a tree root oh, yeah. like a... that broke huh. that's a tree root you think bigger eh? yeah this is nice and level up here look at all these trees it's like a billion of them yeah watch watch the widow Makers. We should probably go through here. Yeah. This is pretty outstanding. The amount of trees that we have in here is, um, wow. We might. Yeah, it is nice and level right here. It really is. So, yep. Yeah, so this is nice and level. All throughout here. Huh. Yeah. Yep. Nice and level all here. Uh oh. I see something black up there. I see something black right there. Keeping in mind that we don't really know if there are black bears, grizzlies, or moose on the island itself, I get a little nervous going too deep into the woods yet. I don't know enough about this island. And I might need room to really run if I have there, to. Maybe just a black log. What would we do? A bear banger. Go back to where we came from on the boat. Okay, let's go. It's just a carpet of beautiful moss. I guess we're going back to our little boat. Here we go again. This time we're headed off to the island to look at. There is an old cabin that was built many, many years ago and a family actually lived on this island, raised their family. Apparently, this is what we understand. And uh, there is an old cabin. We were told yesterday that it used to be one of the most beautiful cabins on the lake, but that it's just not safe now so we won't even be able to go in it I think it's I think it's completely collapsed in from my understanding and so um, we just want to go take a look at it and it seems as though that might be a place to um, make a new cabin from our research today when we went over to the island there you can see we were just over there this afternoon it's got some interesting um, dynamics there <laughs> which will be wonderful this place that we're going to now is very likely the place that we will build something whether it just be a cabin or maybe put a greenhouse or something but it seems as though it's the likely place uh, southern exposure and all that good stuff so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that and seeing a little bit more of this beautiful beautiful lake and I'm also hoping to dip my fishing line in these waters too. So we'll just see what happens this afternoon. The sun has started to shine again. And uh, this has been apparently 
this has been kind of an interesting spring. I think it's like that everywhere, but uh, cooler and the ice has lasted on this lake for a good deal longer than normal, apparently. Anyways, we're off to this new point and I'm really looking, looking forward to what we're going to find there. We've had a few challenges on this, uh, the last few days. <laughs> One, we didn't actually even get on camera yesterday because we were in a bit of a dither trying to sort things out. But Opal was with us and she decided that since it looked like a nice cool floor to step out onto, she'd give it a whirl and she went right into the freezing cold lake and uh, I reached in with one hand and pulled her right back up into the boat and it was uh, I think you just get super strong when these moments happen you don't even realize your own strength but Opal was fine a little bit chilled for a while but um, we took her back to the cabin last night and it was beautiful and heated and she warmed right up and went to sleep so that was um, there's been a few interesting things that have happened on this trip, hey Ryan? That's for sure. Opal doing a little bit of an Arctic swim. That was, I guess she thought that the ice was something she could walk on. So. Yeah. So Ryan had a mishap last night. Oh yeah, the whole way. Actually shocking. But we did just have to take a a video clip for posterity because otherwise no one would ever believe such a thing could happen. <laughs> so he's in pain today and we'll show that to you now. Well, that's problematic. Oh man. This is what happens when you kick the bedpost in the night. Ouch. So, if that looks sore, it's because it is. Okay, so the nail bed, which is here, has come out. So I think I'm in danger of losing my whole nail there. Ouch. You have to just pull it off. Can't. Because it's still attached. I just want to cut that little bit off with a nail clipper just so I can fold this back in. Just put it back together. I can't tell you how much that hurts. It's unbelievable. Okay, let's bind this thing up. My goodness. Look at the big tip. Coming to the northern tip. It does. It's got a couple of really nice big tall poplars in there. There's about six of them, seven. A few of them. And then of course the shoreline's got all these willows. It looks like a beaver down there or something. A place where a whole bunch of sticks have been deposited somehow. I don't know why. That's interesting. That is a big flat piece of land right there. Now this is kind of where I thought that cabin was going to be around here except on that left side. No. Nope. No? Way up the other side. Halfway down? Yeah. Really? Okay, I'm totally off then. It's not even getting shallow, but I can't see. Okay. It's definitely not getting shallow. No. You can definitely see plants there. It looks like there's a natural cave here. I know. Still can't see any bottom? No. Okay. I'll tell you as soon as I do. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, I can see rocks right here. Look at the rocks right here. This is very shallow here. How do you get how do you get it around then? It's good to know. Yeah. This is really shallow. Whatever. We all did. <laughs> There's actually a lot of thrust on this little motor. Just about kicked itself off. That is just so shallow right there. Well, there it is. This is the cabin we saw on Google Earth. Seeing it here with our own eyes somehow humanizes the place. It's no longer abandoned, no longer neglected, no longer alone. We are here now. Life begins again. That's really pretty in there. You want to put your boat right in there? So that's the cabin. Kind of sad to see it empty and maybe we can have someone paint a picture of that. Keep it. Oh, this is a great little place to park. Apparently they did have a dock out here. Um, it was probably all nicely cleared and it was um, a spot that they used to launch their boats from. We might have to go back to the other spot. I, I was told there was a sandy beach here, but I don't see one. Yeah, I think it's just been overgrown. But it really is lovely in its own way. It has some character. Oh, it's a beautiful little cove in here. It really is. There's a couple of cabins. There's one behind that too. Oh. Yeah, so there are. Wow, you know, that's quite tall, isn't it? Maybe it had some kind of a loft or something in it. I'm excited to go and take a look. Me too. Probably not good to go in there, eh? Probably not safe. But it looks to me like there's a stove in there. Really? I, I felt like there was either a stove or a fridge. I could see something. Let's go check it out. Yeah, these are the kinds of things we love checking out. A little gravelly area. Here we are. Knees? Whoa! There's an old fridge and a stove in it and everything. Oh my goodness. Very unsafe, but. Is it on a path? No, it's just plywood. Ooh, its back is broken. Yeah, its back is broken. I guess the snow loads or whatever, hey? Look at the old 
Okay. I think it could be fixed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All it needs is a Jack and a John and a Frank and a whole bunch of other guys. Wow. Look at that just dry rot, eh? It just crumbled. I'd say there must have been a little shock here too, but it's completely dilapidated. I'm not sure what that thing is. An olden day generator. Yeah. Looks like it. Well, look at that old truck there. What is that? <laughs> Looks like people have been here. How could something just dissolve? Completely disintegrate. And there's another little cabin behind there. What is that old vehicle? <laughs> it's a continental generator. The continental generator? Yep. Something you could fix, you think, honey? Well, it all depends. If it's like if it's old school, which it looks like, this thing is set to put out 30 amps. <laughs> oh, it might not be worth it, huh? Our solar chargers do more than that. It had a oh. panel here, but it's been ripped out. The view they've got is gorgeous too. Honey, this is neat. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is right up Ryan's alley, this kind of thing. He's probably going to get this thing going in the next few minutes. <laughs> hey? Well, I don't know. It's, it's an old diesel engine, so it'd be neat to see. If it, as long as it's not seized, that'd be cool. Uh-oh been rained on for ever. Well this just this is just the rad. So that's okay. Wow, I like it. That's neat. Hey look over here honey. An old license plate? Oh no, it's a, it's an access for something. It just looks like a oh yeah, it's lid. nothing. Huh. I can smell um, soil though. We kind of wondered about the soil on this island. Well, there's some cleanup that would need to be done, honey. This is the another shed. It's a bit airy, but. Um, it's a pretty big shed, actually. Or maybe is it another house? Oh, it's a cabin. It's a cabin? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a one-window, one-door cabin. Maybe they had a few people living here. And, and the roof fell in and just rotted away. Careful, honey. There's nails sticking up. Okay. Like, I mean careful. Yeah, I am. Big old spike, see, through that, Yeah. right the sides there. You know, things have grown up and over and you know stuff. What, here? what? A tree came and took this out. You think so? Look, the tree is on top of the roof. Wow. It smashed that. That's all part of that tree. Hmm. Here's the roof. Yeah, I suppose so. That's all roof. Big uh, poplar here, huh? What's that over there? Another cabin? Right in front? Well, let's go check that one out. <laughs> well, we've just found a town on our island. <laughs> How 
many cabins is that? That's three now. Oh, this one is in rough shape. Oh. I think there's another one too. No. Yeah. Let's see if we can go around this somehow. Yeah. Whoa. Oh boy. You know what? Sorry? I was so excited I didn't even take my life jacket off. Me neither. I've got mine on still too. <laughs> what is that? What? Something dead? What is that? It's got like major bones there. Yeah, it's backbone or something. It's backbone and ribs. Very uh, big, whatever it was. I don't like it. Let's go this way, honey. Hmm. I couldn't get into that gap. I'm going to find another way around here. Okay, so that's the third cabin we were talking about that looked really in rough shape. So we meandered around until we got this side of it and found this one. <laughs> this is the fourth cabin. This one... It's rough, but I think I can fix it. Yeah. All it needs is some paint. Huh? Maybe a couple of reinforcing bars. Wow. This was... It just folded in on itself. Wow, okay, so, whew, bonfire time. Oh yeah. The nice thing is we've got four clearings. Well, exactly. Once we get rid of all the debris. Yeah, there's four. Perfect little build spot. Wow. This kind of looks like a good plot spot to build, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice view. Beautiful view. I mean, it's... The view would be incredible. You'd be sitting on your deck, listening to the loons. And, oh, did you just have a trip up? No. No, I just uh, got a burr. Oh. There's some old man's beard. A tree full of it right there. And some really lovely Christmas trees all around. Well, this is where the adventure just could begin for us. I reconsidered. I don't think I can fix this one. No, okay. No, the bones aren't good enough. Hmm. Let's look at this one. We need to be positive. I'm positive I can't fix this. <laughs> well, that's cabin number three. And it's not looking really promising either. So this is turning into an interesting adventure for us. A beaver with, I wonder if that was a little beaver dam we saw then. Oh, they were ambitious. <laughs> Thinking they could dam the lake? Well, they were being positive too. They were positive they could. This puts everything into perspective. How so? Well, just to see that people lived here, that they had this many people here, you know? Like the one lady who grew up on this island. You know, there was, it looks like there was a lot of them now. Yeah. So I, I think that's, I think that's pretty incredible. You know what? If there's a vehicle on here, there must have been a road or a trail or something. Right. That's exactly right. There is a vehicle on here, so there had to have been some kind of a road. Mind you, you know, things can overgrow quickly. You ever see those shows like that? <laughs> yeah. Want to go check out that vehicle and see if there's a road nearby? Yeah. That would be interesting. We need to do that. Okay. Honey, be careful because there could be a hole. Like this could be a yeah, little deeper. I'd really love to just turn the clock back about 40 years. 
and see exactly what happened here. In the middle of a day on a sunny afternoon. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What on earth was that? Uh, okay, well, wow. Huh. What is that? Maybe a deer? It looks like a crocodile. <laughs> Big uh, ribs. But look at its teeth. It, it has teeth up at the top and then... It's got a whole bunch of molars and then just some teeth right in the front. I wonder what... The, that's weird, eh? Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay, that's... Okay. I'd say his backbone is over there. The thing is big, whatever it is. Yeah. What could that possibly be? Anybody, oh. Maybe somebody on YouTube can tell us. Yeah, maybe one of our subscribers can help us and tell us what this is. We have no idea. Finding some old containers. And this is uh, another little cabin here. We should ask if anybody can rebuild a Red Seal Continental generator. Yeah, we should find out about that. What good would it be? Well, if nothing else, it's a conversation piece. <laughs> yeah. A Red Seal Continental generator. Yeah, again, that's just right up Ryan's alley. Right there. Hmm? Starter used to sit right there. That's missing. Oh. That is one heavy piece of equipment. Is it? Oh, yeah. Look at this <laughs> land cruiser. Yeah, I mean, this had to have driven somewhere. It looks like it came here from the safari. Somewhere in Africa, right? It's it looks driven like it, somewhere. Looks like the type of vehicle you'd see in Africa. Is that a stellar J behind there? Right there. I saw one earlier up in the tree. This motor needs a bit of work. <laughs> what kind of a car is it? I think it's an old Land Cruiser. Find a nameplate for it. It's got storage under the just under the seats. <laughs> it's kind of neat, actually. It has a hanging canvas piece there. It's been totally stripped. Oh, has it? Yeah. I don't know. I think it looks it looks to me like an old Land Cruiser. But there's nothing on the back, eh, or anything? No, it's all gone. Mm-hmm. Who do we know that's a good uh, bodywork guy? Maybe Ralph? My question is, how did it get here? That is the question of the day. I can't figure it out either. But where's the road? <laughs> I know that's that's the question we have is this is probably one of the flattest areas on the island the rest is elevated and then flat up at the top but you have to get up to the top so how would they get a car like this over maybe they had a barge back then well here we are we've got a different little structure back here and this just may be the facilities. It's quite a nice one. Or is it? I say it's the facilities. Is it? Yep. Yeah. 
Might want to just knock it over and fill it full of dirt. Yeah. Is there a little walkway down to the um, water from there? Oh, yeah. oh yes. I mean, if we must. <laughs> yes? Thorns. Okay. We're going to want to do a bit of cleaning up with some of this. Oh, wow. I did. I just got hit. Yeah, let's say this This is the before shot. So, apparently they had a dock right there. And the dock is inches from the door, as you can see. So, yeah, apparently they did. They had a dock right in this bay, and this is where they put their boats or whatever. I think there used to be a covered porch here. Maybe. A nice covered... Well, look at... Yeah, you can see the... Mm-hmm. Well, except that looks like it's extended out that way. Yeah, the porch I think used to go out that way. You see, this looks like it used to connect to there and go out that way. Yeah. Because you can see that board. Mm-hmm. I think it went that way for a ways too. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Well, that was sure. That was sure an interesting stop. I've really been waiting to see this part for. A good amount of time. Our second day on the island has answered a lot of questions, and now we have some new ones. We have so much to look forward to. Our vision is coming together, and we're excited about the future. This place is where we are meant to build and bring our family. The days ahead are going to be busy, but wonderful. This is a few, pretty beautiful spot. I see tons of potential. Yes. It's work though. I see tons of potential too. On this trip, we were told of the family who first lived on our wilderness island. We were also told for the first time that our island has a name. We have decided to honor and respect this family by keeping the name that reflects their heritage in such a special way. Of course, this now means that our quote, name our island contest is no longer running, but we are excited to share the interesting and heartwarming history of the island and how it came to be named. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.